In this video, we're going to go ahead and work to find the exact value for the cosecant of 15 degrees. Now we know that cosecant is what we call a reciprocal function because it's the reciprocal of sine x. It's 1 over sine x. So these two things are equal. So what we can do in order to find the exact value for a cosecant of 15 degrees, we can find the exact value for the sine of 15 degrees and then take its reciprocal. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is going to be 1 over the sine of 15 degrees. And you'll notice that I've written here this difference formula for sine. So we're going to go ahead and use this. So it's 1 over. And so we need two values, a and b, which we'll use throughout this expansion here, that subtract to make 15 degrees, but also are easy to work with. Angles that we know the values for, for sine and cosine. Which we could use 45 degrees minus 30 degrees, because 45 degrees and 30 degrees are both angles for which we're very familiar as far as the sine and cosine are concerned, and also they subtract to make 15 degrees. So fabulous. So let's go ahead and use this expansion for the difference formula for sine. So when we do that, we'll end up with the sine of 45 degrees times the cosine of 30 degrees minus the sine of 30 degrees times the cosine of 45 degrees. And that's quite the fraction bar right here. Consequently, this fraction bar is actually called a vinculum. Vinculum. That's just a nice little word. Basically, a vinculum is just any horizontal bar used in mathematics to group digits. So, vinculum, yay. Okay. So let's go ahead and plug these values in. We have 1 all over. So the sine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 over 2. The cosine of 30 degrees is the square root of 3 over 2 minus, and the sine of 30 is 1 half, and the cosine of 45 is the square root of 2 over 2. So now what it looks like we have when we do this multiplication here and here is the square root of 6 over 4 minus the square root of 2 over 4, which we can go ahead and get a common denominator for that down here, which is 4, and just write it over that common denominator. So square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 all over 4. So we have this complex fraction. It's 1 over this entire thing. So what we can do is just take the reciprocal of this denominator, bring it up, uh, multiply it by 1, really, but since it's a 1 and multiplication by 1 doesn't really do anything, what we have here is 4 over the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2. Okay, so this is going to be our cosecant of 15 degrees, but we don't really like to have the uh, irrational numbers here in the denominator. So let's go through the process of rationalizing the denominator by multiplying the numerator and denominator by the conjugate. And the conjugate just means we're going to change that sign in the middle to set up a, a difference of squares here in the denominator, which will get rid of the radicals. Okay, so we'll say radical 6 plus radical 2, and we'll multiply that top and bottom. So we'll get parentheses around that guy and this guy. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. So we have 4 times the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 over, and this difference of squares that we've set up, I just need to multiply the firsts and the lasts and then subtract, because those middle terms will cancel out anyway on multiplication. So the square root of 6 times the square root of 6, well, that's a real 6, and the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is a real 2, and we're subtracting. So 4 times, and we've got that guy right there, over... Well, four. So those fours cancel. And so what we see then is the cosecant of 15 degrees is going to be the square root of six plus the square root of two. 
And there we have the exact value for the cosecant of 15 degrees. And we went ahead and found that by using this relationship that cosecant and sine are reciprocal functions for one another. And then we used the difference identity or difference formula for sine. And we went ahead and simplified and got our exact value for the cosecant of 15 degrees.